Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Once again, this is Sir Jugs. And now, let's talk about the fourth components of MAPE and the third quarter. We have the health. And our topic is all about the health trends, issues, and concern global level. So you have learned in the second quarter the importance of knowing the health programs in your community. So in this quarter, we will study some of the global health trends, issues as they affect your community or our community, family, and even your personal health concern. So, I will present to you the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. they are now before we go on through to the different sustainable development goals let's find out first what is SDG sustainable development goals or SDG are set and adopted by the countries around the world on the 25th of September in 2015 the main objectives of SDG is to end poverty, to protect the planet, and ensure prosperity for all members of humankind. Now let's proceed to the first SDG, which is No Poverty. The specific goal for the No Poverty is to end poverty in all its forms everywhere. The target for this goal includes a world where the poor are not vulnerable to climate change and have equal rights to economic resources. Second, we have zero hunger. Goal is to end hunger, achieve food, security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Target for this goal includes ending malnutrition, protecting small farmers, protecting the genetic diversity of crops, produce and investing in research to make farming more productive. Third, good health and well-being. Specific goal is to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. This goal includes calls for universal health coverage. They need to increase the healthcare workforce, reducing illness and death by pollution. Comprehensive agenda for tackling a wide range of global health challenges such as AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis, and so much more. The fourth one is for the quality education. Specific goal is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Target for this goal is to include the need for access to university level education, vocational training, and entrepreneurial skills help children in your community to read. The fifth one is gender equality. Specific goal is to achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. Target for this goal includes freedom from discrimination and violence, ensuring equal share of leadership opportunities and responsibilities for women as well as property ownership. The sixth one is about the clean water and sanitation. Ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Target on this goal is to include programs that provide access to basic technologies like toilets or latrines as well as protecting ecosystems that provide water and let's avoid wasting water 
The 7th SDG is affordable and clean energy. Specific goal is to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. Target for this goal is to emphasize a conversion to renewable sources and a dramatic improvement in efficiency everywhere. Number 8. Decent Work and Economic Growth Specific goal is to promote sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment, and decent work for all. Sustainable economic growth will require societies to create the condition that allows people to have quality job because it about 75 million people between age 15 and 24 are estimated to be unemployed and out of school youth. Number 9 is Industry, Innovation, and Infrastructure. Specific goal is to build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. Infrastructure provides the basic physical facilities essential to business and society. Industrialization drives economic growth and job creation, thereby reducing income inequality and innovation expand the technological capacity the technological capabilities of industrial sectors and led to the development of new skills. Number 10, we have reduced inequalities. Specific goal is to reduce inequality within among countries. World leaders recognize the positive contribution of international migration to inclusive growth and sustainable development while acknowledging that it demands coherent and comprehensive responses. Accordingly, they committed to cooperate internationally to ensure safe, orderly, and regular migration. The goal also addresses issues related to representation and development assistance. Number 11 is the sustainable cities and communities. Specific goal is to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable. Despite numerous planning challenges, cities offer more efficient economies of scale on many levels, including the provision of goods, services, and transportation. Number 12 is Responsible Consumption and Production. This is to ensure sustainable consumption and production pattern. This goal target topics like reducing food wastage, corporate sustainability practices, educating people on the impact of their lifestyle choice, and recycle paper, glass, plastic, and aluminum. Number 13 is climate action. Specific goal is to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. This goal has an asterisk as it references the Paris Agreement of December 2015, which guides nations to jointly commit to limiting global warming to not more than 2 degrees Celsius. It's educate young people on climate change to put them on a sustainable path early. Number 14 is life below water. Conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. The target for this goal includes research and learning to find out more about what lies beneath the oceans so as to better save them. Avoid plastic bags to keep the oceans safe and clean. Life on land. Specific goal is to protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems. This goal targets halting the threat to living ecosystems and biodiversity on land. Plant a tree and help protect the environment. 
Number 16. Peace, Justice, and Strong Institution Promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development. Targets for this goal include reduction of violence and to torture, reduction of corruption, as well as creation of institutions and governments that work for everyone. 17. Partnership for the Goals This is to strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnerships for sustainable development. This goal targets ensuring that countries have what is needed in achieving the rest of the SDGs such as funds, capacities, and technologies. The goal emphasizes the need for the partnership and collaborations. Once again, the Sustainable Development Goals. Now let's proceed to the other issues and concern global. World Health Organization Framework Convention on Tobacco Control or the WHO FCTC. FCTC or Framework Convention on Tobacco Control is the world's first modern day global public health treaty about the effects of tobacco consumption. It is negotiated under the World Health Organization. The treaty is aimed to set universal standard and limit in the use of tobacco in all forms all throughout the world. This is to protect the current and future generations of people from the negative effects of tobacco to health, to the environment, and to the society. The proposed specific steps by the FCTC for the government to solve tobacco-related problems are Adopt tax and price measures to reduce tobacco consumption Ban tobacco advertisement, promotion, and sponsorship Create smoke-free work and public spaces Put prominent health warnings on tobacco packages And combat illicit trade in tobacco products now let's have global strategy to reduce the harmful use of alcohol. This is a program led by the World Health Organization to save people's lives from the dangerous effects of alcohol use. There is an increased incidence of health problems related to the use of alcohol. It is reported that alcohol kills 2.5 million people every year including those between 15 and 29 years of age. Alcohol is considered as the third leading risk factor for poor health all over the world. The global strategy will be implemented by engaging all countries who participate in the treaty, the international development partners, public and private health, and research institutions. The four priority areas for global actions are Public health advocacy and partnership Technical support and capacity building Production and dissemination of knowledge And resource mobilization Now let's proceed to the global mental health action What is the global mental health action or GMHAP? This is a plan led by the World Health Organization to develop mental health services. There were 135 countries that helped in the making of a framework which would be the basis for each country. Support of having mental health programs in its community in a country. So what are their objectives? First, strengthen effective leadership and governance for mental health. Provide comprehensive, integrated, and responsive mental health and social care services in community-based settings. Implement strategies for the promotion of mental health and the prevention of mental health problems. 
and strengthen information systems, evidence, and research for mental health. Global Alliance for the Vaccines and Immunizations Gavi, or the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization, is a global health partnership which is aimed at universal immunization from both the public and private sector organizations or the group. Aims to save children's lives and protect people's lives by increasing access to immunization in poor countries. Ensure that new vaccines are available to poor countries at an affordable rate. In addition, Gavi ensure that the vaccines are made available in shorter period of time and each country is equipped to deliver them to the people. So that's the end of the discussion of the health in the third quarter. Thank you so much and have a nice day.